evening, folks. Thank you for joining us on Beautiful Living. I'm your host, Megan Lynch. On this show, we'll give you some insight on staying healthy and an opportunity to learn some alternative methods to recovery should you become sick or injured. There's definitely a health awareness in America, and statistics have shown that people are living longer today. I'm sure you've heard the saying that 40 is the new 30, 50 is the new 40, and so on. Well, if that's true, the contributors might be exercise, healthy eating habits, and new science. Today in the studio, we have an individual who is specially trained in the good health and recovery field, and he's here to share some very important tips about maintaining your health and treating your ailments. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Louis Castaldi. He's a licensed chiropractor and holistic care provider. He has studied and practiced this form of treatment for over 18 years and currently has his own practice in East Chester, New York. Dr. Lou treats and diagnoses patients with almost every conceivable illness. He will occasionally be our guest to talk about injuries and ailments and tell us about his approach to cures and medicine. Let's welcome Dr. Lou. Welcome. Thank you so much, Megan. It's a real pleasure to be here on the show. Okay, so let's get started. Excuse sure. me. We are so pumped, I can't even contain my yes, excitement. Yes, me too. So <laughs> why don't you begin by telling us a little bit about what you do and how that differs from regular medical practice, say, or sure. non, I guess, traditional. Sure. Uh, what I practice is more the alternative side of things. Um, I am a chiropractor, and I also practice nutrition response testing. It is a form of applied kinesiology where we use the body's neurological reflexes to determine the underlying cause of a patient's health problem or condition. Okay, so you're saying if someone comes to you with a pain or an ailment that has maybe been occurring for some time, instead of immediately looking directly at that pain or where that area is, you're yes. gonna actually go to their diet and you're gonna dissect what they're eating? Yes, uh, a lot of times diet does have a lot to do with it. Um, a lot of times people don't develop chronic health problems overnight. Uh, they occur after years of eating the wrong types of foods, and this can cause nutritional deficiencies, which then become chronic health problems. That's, I, I mean, that's kind of scary, too, to think about, that you might be putting something in your body, and you don't even realize how poorly it's affecting you. Absolutely. Uh, you can have pain anywhere in the body, and it may be uh, caused by a certain type of a food. And you may not even have an allergy to that food if you see an allergist, but it could still be kind of messing you up. Like a sensitivity. Maybe. A sensitivity okay. that could promote inflammation. In addition, there are other complications from chemical toxins to heavy metals, even parasites and environmental hazards. So we check for all that. Okay, and then from there, you kind of create a treatment or like a formula to how to yes, treat it. Yes, uh, we, we, we give the patient uh, specific dietary advice and also we provide a, a nutritional program designed specifically for them. Okay, oh, very cool, I'm excited. So when we return, Dr. Lou will give us a closer look at how he diagnoses and treats his patients. Welcome back. So Dr. Lou, on the break you were explaining to me a little bit about how the body is made up of electrical charges. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Absolutely, Megan. Uh, these electrical energy flows uh, consist between all parts of the body, including all of your organs and glands. This is how your nervous system communicates and controls your body's functions. And these, uh, these electrical flows can become disrupted for a variety of reasons, and that's what we're testing for. And one of the reasons would be nutrition? Uh, one of the reasons may be uh, food problem, food intolerances, uh, some kind of subclinical infection, oh. uh, heavy metals, chemicals, uh, household chemicals, it could be anything. What about sleep? Does that factor into this at all or not so much? Well, we do have a lot of patients that come in with sleep problems, insomnia, and not every patient, the cause of that is the same. Right. And that's why we are um, very individualized to the patient and it has to be a holistic approach or we'd never be able to help them. Wow. Well, you also were telling me a little bit about someone that came to you, she had a knee problem. Um, yes. And it was, she was having problems going upstairs. Yes, she had advanced arthritic changes in her knees and uh, she was a little bit overweight um, and she had some uh, scars from a gallbladder removal. And the, this nutrition response testing showed us that these scars were actually interfering with her knees. And we had her treat her own scars with, uh, we used Weecherm oil and cold laser. 
And within a few weeks, she was going up and down stairs without pain, and I never actually touched her knees. That's, that blows my mind. Thank you. Because I think you would have, that, that's a miracle, it sounds like, because it, yes. to me, I would, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm not trained in the medical field, but my first instinct would say, okay, I guess you have to get surgery, but that wouldn't necessarily be the answer always. Right, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes uh, the changes may be so advanced that the patient may need a knee replacement. Okay. and they don't even have a choice, And really. they may not have a choice, but if they could avoid a knee replacement and, and do what we do, I think it would be well worth it to try and more affordable. I mean, that's exciting and I think probably really refreshing for the people that have been suffering and Absolutely. kind of give up because we don't know what else to do. So. Can you tell me a little bit more about, um, so the external methods you use, right? You, right. You, you follow a system? Yes, uh, the system was developed by Dr. Freddie Ulan, who is a chiropractor and certified clinical nutritionist. And it is a form of kinesiology where we use the reflexes on the surface of the body, which relate to all the organs and glands and systems of the body determine, to determine what's causing the problem. Unfortunately, modern medicine doesn't really get at the cause. Mm. They do a great job of uh, subduing symptoms, but in terms of what's causing those symptoms, they still, they still are a little bit behind. So it's almost like the band -aid, a Band-Aid on it. Right, you it's like a Band-Aid approach. The, a surface kind of, you know, it hurts, I fix it. Correct. But no one really knows the reason why, and that's what you're kind of here to right. do. And you know what, if, if there is no other alternative to that, then yes, that, thank God for the medicine, but there is an alternative, and that's what we offer at our office. That's amazing. I'm super excited. And you're going to do a little bit of a demo for us? Absolutely. Or? I really look forward to uh, showing you how it works. Okay, cool. Can't Great. wait. Okay. We've transformed our studio into the Beautiful Living Health Center, and Dr. Liu is going to actually do a little demo or talk yep. a little bit about um, what's going on with our lovely guest here, Gloria. Yes, so we have Gloria here and uh, she's come in with uh, some chronic lower back pain on the right side from a past car accident. Uh, she's also having some dental procedures uh, going on at this time. And uh, she has a little bit of frequency of urination, uh, a little more than it used to be. So these are really, generally she's a very healthy woman uh, and generally we're just gonna check out do a body scan with her using the nutrition response testing. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a muscle test. This is really the most important aspect of what we do. Uh, we have to be able to adequately muscle test the patient to get the right results. So, Gloria, I'm just gonna have you slowly resist my pressure and ready. And we see that she has a nice lock there with the muscle. And now we're gonna calibrate the muscle test. So I'm gonna go here, oh, we'll keep your arm there. We're gonna calibrate the test by going to this polarity reflex here. And again, match my pressure. Good, and again, one more time, and again. And you see how the arm goes weak. Wow. Okay, so that's, how, that's what a neurological weakness will look like for us. The muscle is just not locking on that test. So now we're gonna to go to a regulation reflex. Regulation checks if the nervous system is regulating all the body functions properly and is the most important initial test that we do. And it's right over the belly button. We just put the palm center of our hand over the belly button and again match the pressure. Match. And she's not, not weakening. Okay. So the muscle locks. So when now you say the muscle locks, that means it doesn't move. It just, right. like, when I think of the, locking my elbow, it's Right, we just, we just feel that end feel, ready? Good, and then we'll do it again over here and go. See, she's still locking. I see. So this is one of the only reflexes we're actually looking for it not to lock. That will let us know that the nervous system is regulating properly. So these are the stressor kits from Ulan Nutritional Systems, and we have uh, heavy metals. So we're gonna see if there's a heavy metal toxicity, and we just lay it right there and her nervous system will pick up these frequencies through the skin. Just hold that down, Gloria. Hold this arm up. Great. Wow, this is amazing. And we're gonna go right here and again hold. And she weakens. So that would mean that there is some heavy metal toxicity in her cells that wouldn't be picked up by a blood test or a saliva test. That is so, that I, is causing I, my issues. mind is blown again. I yes. can't believe this. Wow. But we won't just stop there. Let's, before we go to the metal kit, 
directly to see what metals are involved. We're going to check for any chemicals. Texas. Around. Yep, just hold. Ready? Good. And hold. Hold. See it locks, so it's not a chemical. Okay, that's causing interference with a nerve. This is super cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and now we'll go and check for any kind of food intolerances that could be complicating her pain. And hold. Not a food issue. Oh. Affecting regulation. And now we'll check for any subclinical infection. Okay, and again, hold, hold, and we hold, and we have, see it doesn't lock. So there is some type of an infection. Hmm. Um, did you have an infection my, my in, tooth. in the tooth? Okay, there we are. Dr. Lou, thank you so much. You're very I, welcome. I feel like we were really lucky to have you as a guest oh, today. Thank you I think so you're much, going Megan. to just kind of explode and people are going to hear about oh, wow. you. Thank and we you. had him first, so yes, we are very lucky. If you have any questions for Dr. Lou Castaldi, please email us at beautifullivingshow at gmail.com.